Hi, I'm Kevin from Tough Coat. So we're down to the last two items on this boat, the two engine covers. And we got, what we did here is we got rid of all the old debris. Now this boat originally had Tough Coat that's been on for a lot of years. So we had to get all that old material uh, scuffed up and any loose material gone and any contaminants gone. So we sanded everything really nice. And then we came back with our ZEP like we talked about, scrubbed it really good, cleaned it, washed it all down. We did it one more time to make sure we got it really clean and dry. Then we taped all our lines off where we don't want our tough coat to go. So uh, nice clean lines, nice borders, makes a big difference when you're doing a job like this. So then we applied the primer, the two-part primer like we talked about, nice even coat on each engine cover. Uh, only mix what you need, like we talked about, and then we're ready to go ahead and apply our Tough Coat product. We do this in two coats. So the first coat, we're not so worried about what it looks like, but with our roller, it distributes the rubber crumb evenly over the, uh, the area, and it broadcasts out really nicely on your second coat. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how we apply this first coat of Tough Coat. Nice even, even strokes and, and just make sure your material looks pretty even as you're putting it on. Now on the first coat, it may not look as, as nice as it's going to be on the second, but you don't worry about that. You're really just getting a good coverage of material down and on your second coat, the crumb will look a lot better. So first coat, we just get a nice even coat applied on the engine cover here. Then we have our tape, keeps us, our boundaries nice and straight. You want to mask off any kind of hardware. We have a bracket there to hold the ladder. You mask that off because once the tough coat dries, you will have a tough time getting any of that off. So you want to make sure you mask everything off. You can see the rubber, you can see the crumb stand up in here. So what you're trying to do is just get it as evenly as you possibly can. So if you see any voids where there is no crumb at all, you can just kind of go back and continue to work this material. Now this is, a, again, if you try this with a regular roller, it won't distribute the rubber crumb at all. This is what we call an open cell roller. And we have these at Tough Coat. They're very affordable. And you need to use this. If you're going to roll the job, this is a must. It's absolute have it. Okay, so that looks pretty even. We're gonna let that go and let that dry and we'll come back and put a second coat on and you'll see how nice and even it gets. So we're ready to apply our second coat. We got a nice warm day here in Long Beach, good breeze. The Tough Coat is a water-based, environmentally friendly product. So the water has evaporated and you can tell it's nice and firm, nothing loose, no stickiness. So we're going to go ahead and apply a second coat right on top of that first coat. Same thing as the first coat, you just want to make sure you get a nice even distribution of the rubber crumb so you get a nice uniform pattern. You can see how it's filling in really nicely with the second coat up, uh, being applied here. Okay, that's going to make a nice non-skid surface for our engine cover. Okay, so you saw how easy it is to apply the Tough Coat product. So you certainly can do it yourself by following the easy steps that we laid out here in the video. This particular project here, we happen to use the Key West sand. 
but our product is available in a multitude of different colors and if you have a particular color on your boat you want to match we can do a custom color for you so if you have any uh, any other questions or you'd like to order the product go to our website for any further information thank you for watching